Welcome back to the MathMind channel. In today's video, we're looking at a question involving a polynomial expression. Even though the question is not an exact replica on any Math Olympiad question, but the process of solving them are very similar. I really like this question and I hope you enjoyed it as well. Let's begin. On the first part of the question, we're given A as a root for this quadratic equation. From there, we are told to find the answer for this polynomial expression involving A. If A is the root of this quadratic equation, what it means is that I can replace X with A. So let's go ahead and do that. I have minus A square minus square root 3A plus 2 equal to 0. From here, Let's divide both sides by A. So on the left hand side, I have minus A minus square root of 3 plus 2 over A. And on the right hand side, that's obviously equal to 0. From here, let's tidy things up a little bit. I have minus A plus 2. 2 over a is equal to square root 3. Let's take the square on both sides so that we can get rid of the square root. So now what I have is minus a square plus 2 minus a 2 over a plus 2 over a square equal to 3. If I work this out, then that's equal to a square plus 4 over a square minus 4 equal to 3. And I have a square plus 4 over a square equal to 7. This is what we are going to use to solve this question. So keep that in mind. Next, let me copy down the polynomial expression in the question. On the numerator, I have a to the power of 4. And on the denominator, I have a to the power of 8 plus a to the power of 6 plus 2a to the power of 4 plus 4a square plus 16. And we are trying to simplify this using what we have established so far. Let's go ahead and try to do that. I'm going to divide this polyno polynomial expression by a to the power of 4 on both the numerator and the denominator. So if I do that, then the numerator will become 1 and the denominator will become a to the power of 4 plus a square plus 2 plus 4 to the 4 divided by a square plus 16 over a to the power of 4. Not much can be done on the numerator so let's just go ahead and focus on the denominator and we are going to do some reshuffling. So from here I have 1 over a to the power of 4 plus 16 over a to the power of 4 plus a square plus 4 over a square plus 2. Based on what we have shown earlier, this part right here will be equal to 7. So let's go ahead and rewrite our expression. I now have 1 over a to the power of 4 plus 16 over a to the power of 4 plus 7 plus 2, which means that I have a plus 9. And what we need to focus on right now is on this part right here. How do we relate that to a square plus 4 over a square. Let's go ahead and take a look at a square 
plus 4 over a square. If I put a square on this, I, on this expression, then I have a square square plus 2 a square 4 over a square plus 4 over a square square. From here, what I have is a to the power of 4 plus 8 plus 16th over a to the power of 4. In other words, I can rewrite a to the power of 4 plus 16th over a to the power of 4 as a square plus 4 over a square square minus 8. So let's go ahead and substitute that into our original expression. Now I'm going to replace this part with what I have established so far, meaning a to the power of 4 plus 16 over a to the power of 4 is equal to a square plus 4 over a square squared minus 8 plus 7 plus 2. From here, this is equivalent to 1 over 7 square minus 8 plus 7 plus 2. And that's equal to 1 over 50. This is the answer to the original polynomial expression. I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a blessed day. Goodbye.